live from the broadcast center in Los Angeles. This is KCAL 9 News at noon. Back here, justice for Anthony. That's what a family is asking for, for a 10-year-old boy who died under suspicious circumstances. His mother's boyfriend has already been arrested, but KCAL's Jasmine Veal reports his family wants others held accountable too. The system failed Anthony. Outside Lancaster's Department of Children and Family Services this morning, supporters and family of 10-year-old Anthony Avalos gathered with signs blasting the department. They held up photos of the boy who died last week from alleged abuse. Rest assured, my sweet baby boy, that you will always be loved. Never forgotten. Avalos's mother's estranged sister-in-law, Maria Barron, says she had known about and reported the abuse, but nothing ever changed. Their lawyer, Brian Claypool, says he's seen proof Avalos was tortured, starved, and even burned by cigarettes. He had deep bruising behind the back of his eyes. They say Avalos should have been rescued by authorities after so many red flags. We know of at least 16 reports to the LA County Department of Children and Family Services. But today, what we're asking for is more because we have an incomplete picture. They're calling on DCFS to release all records on him and every child in that house. The department says it had been aware of abuse allegations and visited the home eight times. Avalos died at a hospital the morning after he was found last Thursday. Investigators classified his death as suspicious. They were told the boy had suffered injuries from a fall. How, as a community, can we fix this so that we're not attending another funeral of a little boy? Justice for Anthony, they say, even calling for a criminal investigation into the caseworkers. Claypool says if they don't get what they want from the department, that's when they will consider filing a civil lawsuit. Meantime, the mother's boyfriend, Kareem Leva, expected to be arraigned in court later this afternoon on that murder charge of Anthony Avalos. Here in Lancaster, Jasmine Veal, KCAL 9 News.